morning students how are you i hope you all are fine okay students in our last class we discussed about structure of a leaf and uses of leaves is it okay students today we are going to discuss about flowers okay students we already know flowers are most attractive parts of the plant is it okay students these flowers have different sizes shapes and colors and some flowers are small and some flowers are big okay flowers such as duckweed are small and flowers such as water lily rafflesia and lotus are big and most flowers are brightly colored but flowers blooming at night are usually white in color for example jasmine okay most flowers have a sweet scent that attracts insects for example jasmine jasmines have a sweet scent that attracts insects okay students see uses of flowers the first use most flowers change into fruits and most fruits have seeds inside them and new plants grow from seeds is it the first use most flowers change into fruits is it and most fruits have seeds inside them new plants grow from seeds this is the first use okay then second one yes flowers attracts insects and birds is it and these insects and birds help in transferring pollen grains okay these insects and plants help in transferring pollen grains from one flower to another this process is called pollination okay insects and birds help in transferring pollen grains from one flower to another this process is called pollination what is mean by pollen grains here pollen means a substances that goes plants to form seeds okay flowering plants make pollens okay okay students a grain of a pollen is so tiny that is best viewed by microscope okay all of you clear what is pollen grains okay pollen means a substances that cause the plants to form seeds okay here pollination means insects and birds help in transferring pollen grains from one flower to another this process is called pollination here pollination helps in the formation of fruits from flowers okay students all of you clear uses of flowers okay okay students the next that is fruits and seeds okay students we already know most fruits have seeds inside them is it and also fruits have different shapes colors and sizes okay students see fruits that can be eaten are called edible fruits example mango and banana then fruits that cannot be eaten example datura and fox glove are called non edible fruits okay all of you clear what are edible fruits and what are non edible fruits edible fruits means fruits that can be eaten are called edible fruits example mangoes and bananas and fruits that cannot be eaten are called non edible fruits okay students example datura and fox glove okay all of you clear okay students we already know there are different type of fruits based on the number of seeds is it some fruits have only one seed for example mango and cherry and some fruits have few seeds for example orange and apple is it and some fruits have many seeds for example watermelon and papaya is it okay students the next uses of fruits and seeds okay students we already know most fruits have seeds inside them is it and the second one yes most new plants 
grow from seeds and the third one extra fruit prepared by leaves is stored in the fruits okay these are the uses of fruits and seeds okay see the first one the extra food prepared by the leaves is stored in the fruit okay the next most fruits have seeds inside them and the last one most new plants grow from seeds under favorable condition okay only under favorable condition most new plants grow from seeds okay students all of you clear okay students we will see in our next class thank you